good morning from a very cold, wet and windy Roslyn. Um, I've got a few hours, so I thought I'd take you around and show you what this place has to offer. Here that on the 13th of June 1456, James II made Scotland made Roslyn a bar of barony in favour of William Sinclair, Earl of Orkney and Caithness. With cross and market and the market day hereof be ilk Saturday and the fair hereof to be upon Simmons date and Jude. Yearly always in time coming. Roslyn at one time reckoned to be next to Edinburgh and Haddington in population and importance. Centuries later, Roslyn became a popular summer excursion from Edinburgh. It's Roslyn Chapel from the film Da Vinci Code, also by the book for The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, which is a fantastic read, by the way. If you ever get a chance to actually read the book, um, take them in. Take a while to actually sit and read it because it is actually good. Um, the film's good as well, but to get the feel, true feel of what Dan Brown meant, um, obviously read the book. So this is College Hill House, founded in 1660. It was the old Roslyn Inn until 1866. It's now in the care of the Roslyn Chapel Trust and it provides self-catering holiday accommodation through a partnership of the Landmark Trust. Roslyn Chapel is still a, still a working church and part of the Scottish Episcopal Church. Services take place every Sunday morning throughout the year and on a Sunday evening from March until October. Short prayer services also take place um, during the week on the Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 12 noon and all visitors are invited to attend. After the making of the Dan Brown, of, of, the, of the film of the Da Vinci Code, uh, visitor numbers absolutely soared here to the chapel. Um, and with all, so much so, they, I think they got about one, one and a half million visitors uh, a year, which is quite, quite obviously good for what was a small tourist attraction at the time. And with the money they've actually made, had built this new visitor centre, which is actually quite swanky. This is the Rosling Glen. If you're ever in the area, lots of fantastic walks down through the glen. new original 
regional oil tanning. And this actually, in the olden days, used to be a petrol garage. This is Dolly's tea room, um, which is, does the most, if you're ever in the area, does actually the most fantastic afternoon teas. So Dolly the sheep was actually cloned in Roslyn, just up the road in the Bush Farm Estate. Um, if you ever wanted to meet Dolly in person, she's actually on display at the National Museum of Scotland in Edinburgh, there on Chamber Street, and it is actually, she is actually worth a look. I was quite surprised uh, when I went to visit her a few years back, uh, actually how well preserved she actually is. about Roslyn is that Bothell was actually invented here. Um, we used to have a cafe in the village called Bothell Johnson's that actually closed um, quite a few years ago now and they did move into the chapel. I wonder why we're still in the chapel to be honest. I've not actually been inside the chapel for a wee while. Um, but yes, Bothell was actually invented here so. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos if you want to see more adventures, uh, keep exploring and I'll see you soon.